Good evening, everyone. Jesus is good. God is great. You know, I think about why God would accept us sinners like us. Why would we become His? When I think about that, I started crying because God is great. Amen. Are you guys tired now? If you are not tired, say nay. If you are tired, say ayo. Okay, now let's all stand up and let's do some exercise. I promise you guys I will spend about 10 minutes. And I hope that I will get your attention for those 10 minutes. Okay. Hit the heaven because I will. Sekarang mau hitin tentu buat one two three mungkin kau kahen. Oh, mesti bantu tuan si. Okay, hikal lewat tuan tuan si. Okay, bantu tuan si. Hikal lewat bantu tuan si tin. Oh, tikin. Anu lea. Oh, tikin. Thank you Jesus bantu tuan. Okay, you may be seated. For tonight, tim ya akan mahasi lai lomo. Okay, uh, tonight I want to share with you guys that Jesus is Lord, amen. Yeah. If I do, you guys know Siavan or Kuvan? Yeah. Do you guys know Siavan? Yeah. If you know him, please raise your hand. Okay, I think everyone knows him. Okay, if I say that Siavan is a pastor, what does it say about him? Anyone? He's a good man. And if I say that Siavan is a pastor, what does it mean? What does it say about him? Submit to Christ. What else? He is. He prayed for everyone. He preached. What else? He spread the word. Now, if God said he is Lord, if I say that Siavan is a pastor, it says something about him, isn't it? If God said that he is Lord, it says something about him too, right? So if you turn to your Bible, right, you will see the word Lord over about 7,800 times in the Bible. The Bible is not very thick. You guys see the Bible? It's not very thick. But in this book, God said about 7,836 7, times that He is Lord. If your parents tell you something, and if they keep repeating it, what does it say? It's important. If God keeps repeating that He is Lord for about 7,836 times in the Bible, that means the, the word Lord is important to who? To God. The question is, what does the Lord mean? Do you guys know landlord? If you know landlord, please say you, raise your hand. Okay, many of you guys know landlords. We, we call them landlord because they own the land. People who own the permit, we call them what? People who own apartment or land, what do we call them? Landlord. Landlord. Why? Because they own apartment. When we look at the word Lord in the Bible, it actually means own. The word Lord means owner. So when God said that he is the Lord, what he is saying is that he, is, he owns everything. Does that make sense? Now I want you to turn to the screen over there. You see? Repeat after me. The earth is the Lord's. And all its fullness. The world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the sea. And establishes upon the waters. Let's give God a praise for his word. Okay. So God is saying that the earth is his. Where is the earth? 
Where is it? Here. Right here, right? We are on it right now. God is saying that the earth is his. And all its fullness, everything in it. And the world and those who dwell in it. Who dwells in this world? Who dwells in this world? Are we living in another galaxy? What planet are we on? Earth. So God is saying, anything that dwells on this planet Earth is His. Are we dwelling in this Earth? That means we are His. Are those animals dwelling in this planet Earth? That means the animals are also His. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys. Do you guys have a water bottle? You guys? Okay. If you have a water bottle, show like this. Okay. Do like this. Whoa, like this. This is Jesus. This belongs to Jesus. Okay. Now, I want you guys to do this too, okay? Jesus said that everything in the world belongs to him. That means this water belongs to who? Jesus. Now, look at me. Look at me. This is what I'm going to do. I now see this water not as mine, but as his. Thank you, Jesus. Now I'm going to drink water. Oh, okay. You try it. You try it. Know that this belongs to Jesus and drink it and say thank you. Thank you Amen. Okay. Let's give him a hand for water. Woo. <laughs> okay. What about, what about your friends? Who do they belong to? They belong to Jesus. We all belong to Jesus. That's why, you know, we say, uh, can you guys read this? Kriya, Bumkat. Where is Gan? Oh, right here, Gan C. Can we say this in English? In Christ, we all are one. Why? Why? Lord, why? We all belong to Jesus. Now, you're going to turn to your neighbor, right? You're going to turn to your neighbor and you will tell them this. You belong to Jesus and I belong to Jesus. You know, okay, your attention here, please. A lot of times, we think that we will be in God's presence before God's presence when we get to heaven. We think that when we get to heaven, we will be on whose property? God's property. I want to tell you this. God said this earth is his property. That means before you get to heaven, you are already in one of his. And that is this planet earth. Amen? Do you have to go to heaven to be in the presence of God? No, you are already in the presence of God. This earth belongs to him. So you are standing on whose property? God's property. So I'm gonna, I want to show you guys something. What is this? Yeah. Huh? Whose chair is this? God. Now look. If you know that Jesus is the owner, if you know that Jesus is the owner of everything, praise and worship start everywhere you go. You will look at the chair and you will sit like this and you'll be like, oh, 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 this is Jesus. Praise God. Amen. And then you will start singing. Thank you, Jesus. Right? Or let me put it this way. When you take a shower, right? You take a shower at home. Whose water is it that you are using for taking a shower? Jesus' water, right? Because he said that everything in this planet Earth belongs to him. When you take a shower, you look at the water, right? Can you look at the water? No, don't, don't do it, okay? When you take a shower like this, as the water comes down on you, you like, oh, I feel his water. I feel his water. And then at the, at the sink, I mean, at the, you know, the bathroom, right? At the, when you take a shower, praise and worship will start. Amen. Praise and worship doesn't has praise and worship doesn't have to take place on this pulpit. It can place at any time, at any place, at any moment, as long as you recognize that Jesus is Lord. Amen. So if you recognize Jesus is Lord and you take a shower, 
What you are going to do is, oh, thank you, I feel your water, right? Thank you, Jesus, right? Thank you, Jesus. You keep, you, you're going you're gonna to feel, be filled with joy. Yes. Sorry? Okay, okay. Thanks for question. Okay, okay? You see, if you recognize that Jesus is the Lord, Christian worship starts at every, 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 any place. But if you don't recognize that Jesus is Lord, you will open the refrigerator and you will not see any water. And you'll be like, you will start complaining. You will look at the food on the table that your parents bring, bring to home, right? You look at the table on the food, you'll be like, I don't like this food. You will start complaining. But if you know that Jesus owns those food, you will be like, oh, this is it. Let me say thank you. You will start saying thank you. That's the reason why we pray before we eat food. What is the purpose? To recognize that Jesus owned the food and we say thank you Jesus for this food. That's why we should keep praying. Amen? Okay, lastly, right? I want to encourage you guys. Jesus, as I said, you know, we, sh we don't deserve to be His. We don't deserve to be accepted by Him. But because of His grace, because of his mercy, we are accepted. Amen? If people reject you, if the world reject, reject you, know that God is always with you. Know that God is always with you and God accepts you. And I, will, I also want to remind you guys that in God's eyes, unforgivable, unlovable, unacceptable person doesn't exist. Can we all say that together? So this is how we say it, okay? We, we're going to start with forgiveness, and then we're going to go to love, and we're going to go to accepted, okay? Unforgivable, unlovable, and unacceptable. This is how we'll say, in God's eye, and we will say those three things, we will mention those three things, and we will say it. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. In God's eye, unforgivable, unlovable, unacceptable, person doesn't exist. That means, that means... Jesus accepts you 100%. Turn to your neighbor. Even if you don't accept yourself, Jesus accepts you. Even now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I, I now want to talk to your parents. Okay. Just three minutes. I, said, I promise you guys I will be finished in 10 minutes. Okay. ละตัวเห็นอ่ากะนุกะปาฮิกะมะนะรามิจุงซองอ่ะคอมปาเตชิมกะดูมิจอฮิกะนั้นฟะปาปูลปิจุงเอดิรมิฮิบอยปาอะ
apoy ngay may chukan fale hi boy pata an si ti mi zakat zakat kan pep loa chun an cha kan chan kan pek mi le an cha tha chan kan pek mi vial te hi suk na ka kan ruwa sul la mangai lo mi a chang nan boy pa pathian ta ba zakat zakat an si ti a chun an cha sacrifice song kan to khon amen chu vial te chu pathian an ta si ti mi thei na te na ra chu pathian na ta an si ti mi kan thei na na in chun Juni Jun Chan Sian Du Na Lung Put Sian Du Na Ngay Mi Chol Lava Sian Du Na Kan Pek Amen Zero Nga Tia Jun Kan Fa Kan Nau Le Kan Chan Kan Pai Sa Kan Pek Min Ha Kan An Ma Ki Sa Lo Chu Boi Pa Kan Pek Mi Ki Si Amen Boi Pata Asi Ti Kan Thay Mi Juti Boi Pata Asi Ti Kan Thay Chang Mi Juti Thil Pakat An Hei Bik Te Zong Ki Sun Lam Ngay Tham Ai Thok Kan Zou Le Am An Ngay Tuk Chang Kan Fa Le Chin Chin Ju Boi Pata An Si Ti Kan Thay A Jun An Chung Nga Hen Kan Fa Le Chung Nga Papa Tia ni ayat belum mebia kahap kan cium lai lo. Boy Papa Tia ni ayat ini befang tu kah an cium a cium kan ezom lai. Ju ta ju tua cium kan dumi na ju kan peti arab tu kan cium bentuk kan. Lord Lord dia bayar kan berarti kah Boy Pa Boy Pa Boy Pa dia befang kan muleng mang mebefang he. Asul lam ju angai tu angai tu angai tu tinak se. Ju ju bayar cium a hen Boy Thong Riet leng pi kah Boy Papa Tia ni cium. Zairung ada boy papa cian hijat eh he acah lo mi bible cuma boy thongret lengan cium dia cun boy papa cian ni zaman dia tengah itu asih nak apa pitu ke arwah he he apa hal esok jualan saya tekan do boy tampil cepat cian fakan si nak he jualan hal ngai cuci cun kri tengah zong he kan mata apa si ringa kan silauin kan matu he kri ta kan si nak tu kan zakat zakat jualan saya tekan mika boy papa cian itu nak kandu piak mese amen Mabiar tetapi tu terasa nak tontakkan dalam komisi selo. Kandilah cakap bapa cakap macam tu sahaja pihak saya. Tampil kalau.